Yesterday, we showed you how to create custom labels for your CDs, but our creative juices are still flowing. Roger's here to help us make inserts for the jewel cases. And what are we going to need to do that, Roger? Well, of course, you need the printer, you need the computer, and you need a special kind of paper. Just like you need special paper for the CD, you also need paper for the jewel case. Now, if you're doing kind of like a full CD like this, where you, got, you have a back as well as a front and an inside, you need this particular uh, set of uh, papers. One is for the insert or the kind of where you have the, uh, the, the listings or you have the, uh, what do they call it? So the li liner the notes. Liner notes, that's Which it, I'm sorry. Even though this is this would be the outside, we have no liner notes. You can actually <laughs> print. You can print on the inside of it. It's double sided. Oh great! So you can print on either side, and that's what it's for. But unfortunately, I don't have that much to say about Allison Krauss. Uh, as well as you also have one sheet for the back, the insert that goes on the back of the CD when people flip the CD back on the back where you have the information, you have the uh, contents of the uh, CD. Now, what about slim cases? Slim cases. I made one of those. Unfortunately, because the slim line, of course, being slim, you don't have anything in the back. You can still use the front and do the insert and liner notes on the front. Okay. So what kind of things are we going to do then? Well, first of all, what we're going to do is we're actually going to create the actual uh, design that we want to use. And of course, now I'm using acoustic uh, CD label maker that I used yesterday. And one of the things I said about this that I liked is that it allows you to carry that entire transition so you can have a common theme running between your CD label as well as your CD insert and your back uh, jewel case insert. So let me go through the wizard and I very simple to use. I like wizards. Uh, wizards are good. Uh, very simple to follow. Uh, select the design and since uh, let me uh, let me choose this right here and I'll go next and now I just need to import the same titles that I used yesterday so since mm -hmm. I was working on Johnny let me import Johnny again and you basically do that through uh, a playlist it imports playlists. yes it uses a playlist import so if you have a playlist from an mp3 player uh, CD listing say you got from CDDB you can import that as well and what it does is allow you to save time so you don't need to manually insert each name for song that's as well as cool. artists. Now you were using a template in there too. Can you make your own? Yes, you can. You, if that's what's ama amazing is that you can actually add your own graphics if you uh, wish to do so. But it also comes with a, a wide enough variety of uh, templates existing as well as updates. So if you actually purchase it, you get free updates to the art. Ooh. So which I actually did earlier and I actually downloaded uh, 40 additional templates, which is actually kind of cool. So uh, let me continue on and let me select, say, uh, Central. And what we're talking about here, Johnny folks, Tech. is customizing the inserts for jewel cases uh, so that you can have a better collection so yeah. you know what you're looking at and listening to. Exactly. So, let me right here, got the name. It's too big. Let me shrink that down to a font size more befitting. And it works kind of like an image editor. Exactly. And it, it, you can see what I'm doing is it, it does a lot of it. I just do the small tweaking to get it to fit. But the, uh, but the wizard essentially does everything for me. So, right now I have his name and I can put anything else I want. That's the front. Now, if I want the inside, I also have his, his uh, little liner notes, or not liner notes, but the, the, the contents. And finally, I also have the back. So when I flip, someone hmm. flips to the back of the CD, they'll get this print. Now, once I have this all out, all I need to do is click print. And again, one of the beauties of this program is it already has built-in templates for each of these papers. And since I'm using the Neato product, I can select the Neato pro uh, product paper that I want to use for that particular uh, printing job. So that's back. That's the middle. Let me select the correct type for that one as well. And there we go. And I just select print. And what I come out with, actually, this doesn't look as, as uh, similar, but I come out with basically two sheets. And of course, one being the uh, insert liner notes and the one being the back of the jewel case. And this paper is perforated, so I can actually simply just quickly, I can just fold along the dotted lines that are already present. It's just like kindergarten. It's exactly like kindergarten. And it's it's perfect for people who do not want to get into a large mess of trying to figure out what goes where and how do I... Wasn't it always tab A into slot A? Exactly. Well, it's actually B. a little easier than that. You just follow the dotted lines, which uh, for some reason I'm able to do at this very moment. Oh, let me tear it. You have to be a kindergartner, I think, in order to do it. Let me do that. But when you're done, uh, you're going to have something that's it's going to be very exactly. fitting and for the type of uh, stuff you have on the CD. It's very simple to do. Let me just... Uh, do that, and again along the dotted lines, and it's all you know perforated, so it's not very hard. And you notice what's kind of cool about this now is that I actually have the little side yeah. of the CD. So when I fold this in this way, 
this end comes up onto the side of the CD as in this CD. So I still have the label on the side and not just blank spots, but I have a genuine label on this side as well as on the opposite side. Here, let's put it in. Sure. Yeah, fold this down. Folded. You do this. Fold. It's a very simple job. Let me do that. Grab that. And, you know, when I was doing this, I was thinking, who would want to do this? But, you know, once you get on it, you can't stop. <laughs> it's addictive. It is addictive. Take the uh, back plating of the, the CD. You better than sugar. Cover. Better than coffee. Put a little force into it. Put a little snaps in. And now you got your back. Nice. So, actually, you got to put it in backwards. Hey, you know what? <laughs> it's so easy to do. Anybody can do it. And that's out. the point. And, and that's... And once again, once you start making these, you can actually have, you know, you, you can customize as well as has, have things for different occasions. You can do for weddings. Like, for example, when my cousin got married, he actually made a custom CD of all the wedding songs they were playing hmm. during the reception. Or a birthday, a celebration, graduation. You want to do all the, you know, kind of graduation songs, although none come to mind right now. Pomp and circumstance. Yeah, but does anyone really want to take that home and listen to it? Thank you, uh, Roger. Sure. <laughs> if you want to know more about customizing your CD collection, spin over to our website, techtv.com slash call for help.